Good morning, my app are back. Here's the plan. Okay, it's not the morning. I completely forgot to shoot an intro this morning. So this is quite a bit later in the day. In fact, it's nearly five o'clock. But for the rest of this, just go with it. I'm gonna do my normal acting as though I don't really know what's gonna be happening during the day just based on the conversation I have first thing with the engineer. So, I think today what we will see is work on the concrete slab for the gazebo. We might see a bit of work on the columns. I think we're gonna see some more tiling done. I think we're gonna see a lot, a lot of new white paint that really is gonna change the back of the house. I think we're gonna see more of the decorative element in the master bedroom. I think we might see some glass. Yeah, okay, I pretty much know all of those things are true. So, let's get on with it. Given when I'm shooting this, hopefully, there's very little that can actually go wrong. We'll start at the back of the house today. And again, I'm breaking my rule about not showing white painting or white skin coating. But I think this is a bit different because they're about to transform the appearance of this side of the house. So a lot of this will be painted white, but there's a few exceptions, and I'll show you what those are. In this corner, they're gonna build a plant box really to hide, cover up these bubblers. But the plant box will allow for access to those bubblers in the event that there is some kind of a problem. And you might notice just down here, there is also an outlet, or what will be an outlet, there's a back box there and some wiring at the moment, uh, that will have the ability for access as well. Here's another exception. Below these two windows going into the gym, there'll be tiles. And then there might be a third area of tiles in between these two downspouts. I'm not sure that I like that idea. I think it might be too much. I will have to wait and find out from Maya Sauer what my opinion really is. She'll tell me. Piling in the sunroom is continuing. I'm pretty sure Frederick and Elson will get this uh, relatively small area finished off today. In the dining room, painter Mr. Willie is back at work on mud and tape, filling in all the joins and the cracks and the screw holes and any other little surface defects on this wood paneling on the false wall. Uh, and then after that, they will go back to a lacquer or a varnish finish on this wood. Uh, let me do a quick correction. It's not skim coat, so it's still kind of mud and tape, but uh, skim coat on wood is not the right finish. So, once again, we're using white putty, which, strangely, as before, this tin is called Automotive Lacquer. I'm still not entirely sure whether that's just a repurposed tin or it's what this came in. I think it must be a repurposed tin. Well, a bit more destruction going on here. Apparently, they were not happy with the lineup of the wall here at the bottom to where the tile transitions from, well, in this case, the living room into the hallway. So they're gonna cut back a little bit of the wall here so that the wall actually lines up with that transition. I've not noticed that. Someone's got a sharp eye. In what is effectively the workshop area now, Oliver and Rico are working on a couple of different things. Oliver is putting together forms 
to be used for the columns in the gazebo. And as they have throughout this build, they're using these phenolic boards, which in theory are kind of reusable. Although when they're being used as forms, uh, it's a little less easy to reuse. But they have done it in the past. And over here, original Rico, still putting together uh, the metalwork for those columns. In this case, putting together steering and bending well beyond 90 degrees at the corners. This is the area where, during the typhoon, one or two of the PVC panels for the soffits got taken out. Uh, an easy fix, they've put it back in. I, I do need to talk to the builder at some point about trying to make sure that you know, there is no repetition in future. I'm not sure there's much more they can do, but I will be asking him. Richard is making a delivery of more of these uh, panels they've been using for highlights in the bedrooms. I'll show you where they're going. They're going in the master bedroom. So uh, he'll have to cut them to size. And then in, as in all the other bedrooms, they will be put above and below this kind of TV cabinet. Singing Rico, back to work on this ceiling area where they, as we saw yesterday, they strengthened the ceiling, uh, the connection for the light fixture. So, quite a bit more work still to be done to finish off up here. Down here, we've got more mortar being mixed together to be applied on the outside bathroom. And over there, Coelito and lead foreman Manny have been putting together something. I have no idea what's going to go just there. I will go and find out. Mystery solved. It's just a support mechanism uh, so they can sift whatever they have to sift, whether it's soil, uh, sand. That's all it does. Purely temporary. Well, that was easy. I now know that I do like having tiles here because I've been told I like having tiles here. Simple. One little addition. Below this window, we're also going to do tiles. We are still going to put a kind of a bar on the outside of the windowsill. Just coming out a little bit so people can sit there and peer into the ki dirty kitchen and, I don't know, pass food across, have a drink. Uh, and the thought here is we'll do tiles below the window because as people are sitting there on stools, inevitably some lout, like me, are going to put their feet on the wall. And if it's painted white, it'll get dirty very fast. If it's got some grey tiles there, it won't show. So, tiles here as well. It's 4.30. I didn't have time for a post-lunch wander around this time, so we're going to kick straight into the sort of end of day. But before we do, Bob Tweed Philippines has submitted the following. Two men are on opposite sides of the river. One shouts out to the other, how do I get to the other side of the river? Second one says, you are on the opposite side of the river. Let's have a look and see what quite a big transformation is beginning to take place. The first part of that transformation is upstairs at the back, where this morning it was pretty much all the kind of dirty brown, gray, whatever color that is downstairs. Now it's all white. It's not all finished white, but there is some finishing paint up there. And the other thing that's happened is they've painted the downspouts white. So now we're starting to get a sense of whether or not those downspouts will blend in or whether we need to do something more with them. We need to think about this a little bit more because they do kind of disappear. Except right up at the top where they're up against the brown background. Now, over on Jack's balcony, I'm not sure how clear it is from here, but a second part of the transformation is taking place. 
we'll go and take a closer look from a different angle. This might not be massively clear either, given that we're dealing with transparent material, but we've got glass. Not all in place yet. Not yet on this side. And I'm not sure what other finishing is required, but the glass guys are back. And this is not the only spot they've been working on. And they are still here. This is Sabrina's balcony, and this has been taken a stage further. So we've got all of the glass all the way around, but we also have these brackets, which will hold a stainless steel handrail. It's not quite how I'd envisaged it, but I think that will work just fine. There's, there's clearly more work to be done. These panes of glass are not entirely level, but I think this is going to be rather nice. And the lead guy from the glass gut crew has just told me that in fact the handrail will continue a little bit round behind or on this side of this column. So it should look really good. And finally, we do have the glass on the master balcony as well. So, on this balcony, it's only on two sides, it's all it needs. Got the wall over on this side. We don't yet have the glass installed here at the double height ceiling or the little area behind me where the entrance hall is. And neither do we have it on the stairs yet. Well, the stairs will have to wait anyway because there's still too much work going on there. There's still quite a bit of work going on just here, so that might have to work as well. But the glass is here, ready to go. Still with the exception of the glass for the staircase. Richard was busy. He got all of this highlight feature installed today. And maybe he's done other bits and pieces as well. I'm, in fact, I'm pretty sure he has. But that's all in above the stairs as well, which this morning was all a bit of a mess of grey wall and yeah. It's white now. It's far from finished, but it's white now. In the sunroom, Frederick and Elson did finish off those tiles on this side uh, towards the windows and doors. So now we have a little bit of that highlight tile on both sides. Sorry about the scaffolding. Nothing I can do about that. I'm guessing they moved on to something else, but I'm not sure what it was, although there is one more little thing to do with tiling to show you. Around the outside edge of the pool, which at the moment is effectively just a concrete slab, we will have some tiles on here, and there's three different ones. This one, come with me, and these two and they'll do a pattern with those three tiles all the way around. Haven't started yet. Maybe that's next on Frederick's list. We'll find out tomorrow morning. In the outside bathroom, quite a lot more plaster has gone on the walls. Around the corner at the end there, all of that is done on the other side of this dividing wall. This is pretty much the only area left that is not done along with this outside wall. The rest of it is all plastered, or rendered, if you prefer. The gazebo today is changed quite a lot. We do have a full concrete floor now. Not only that, there's a small crew, just four or five tonight, are working on the forms for these columns. So it's a combination of uh, tubular metal uh, and the phenolic board, which when we built the house, when they built the house, we saw was very, very strong. And in, a, in most cases, they could reuse it for other things afterwards. Don't think I'm expecting to see any concrete being poured today. I think this evening will be more about just getting these forms put together and put around the rebar for the columns. But let's give it an hour, see what happens. 
It's just after six o'clock and the guys have headed out. They got most of four of the eight forms built. The one in the far corner, not quite complete, but these are very reminiscent of the forms that they used when they were at this stage of building the main house. Uh, the forms that we called monster forms. They were incredibly reliable. I don't think we had any that broke out and had concrete uh, seeping out at any point, not from what I can remember anyway. Uh, very, very solid forms. Uh, and if they mix the concrete right and hopefully agitate it as they did uh, with the house forms, uh, the house columns, hopefully we'll have some nice strong columns here as well. Although, of course, the stress on these columns will be massively less. But that's it. Tomorrow, I would imagine, they'll finish off the forms for the remaining four rebar columns that we have. And maybe we'll get some concrete poured. Come back and find out. See you then.